Hello and welcome to this week's News Bite. I'm Scarlett Marshall. Crime on campus is at an all-time low, according to new data released last week. Only 159 incidents were reported in the last academic year. That's half the incidents which were reported four years ago. Strong partnership between the University and South Yorkshire Police is said to be responsible for this decline. This news precedes Crime Prevention Week, which sees representatives from the police, university security team and local charities share advice on how to avoid becoming a victim of crimes like burglary. The National Union of Students has withdrawn their support for a march for free education after an initial endorsement back in September. Tony Pierce, NUS President, explained that following an external assessment, risks to members, especially disabled members, were too high to support the march as it's currently planned. This march will protest cuts, fees and debts, and will go ahead in London on November the 19th. Armistice Day was marked with a traditional 11 o'clock, two minute silence. Students and staff observed the silence on the concourse, and military veterans and shoppers gathered in Barker's Pool in the city centre. This year marks the 100th anniversary of the First World War, and objects and documents relating to Sheffield's role in the war are currently on show at Western Park Museum in an exhibition running until next March. And finally, former Sheffield student Dan Cook has won an award for a photograph of our very own Arts Tower. The image came first in the Urban View category in the Landscape Photographer of the Year competition. Cook, who graduated in 2006, said that the win meant a great deal to him, and he's received a great response from Sheffield locals. The winning entries will be shown in an exhibition in London Waterloo Station in December. Thank you for watching. I'm Scarlett Marshall.